So this, uh, the title of this uh, lecture is Australopithecines in Humans, Differences, Evolutionary Assumptions, and Creationist Beliefs. Um, next slide, please. Uh, the evolutionist views of, uh, of Australopithecines, and when I mean Australopithecines, I'm talking about a broader range of animals called uh, Australopithecines, uh, Kenianthropus, and Paranthropus. And uh, some of these uh, fossils or specimens were uh, referred to as, uh, um, or before as uh, Australopithecus, but now have gone to the uh, other name as uh, Kenianthropus or a, or a paranthropus simply because just like baseball just like baseball the um, uh, biology and zoology has rules and the rule is is if you find a fossil before anyone else does and name it your fossil name sticks so uh, how many of you have heard of brontosaurus remember brontosaurus everyone has heard of brontosaurus well the issue was is that one paleontologist named an animal Brontosaurus, the other one named it Apatosaurus, but the individual who named it Apatosaurus named it before the individual who named it Brontosaurus. So eventually when they kind of figured it out, and a lot of paleontology what it is, is an argument between Professor. You are saying it's Apatosaurus and found it first, I'm saying it's Brontosaurus, and oh my goodness, it's another species. But what they did is they found out that in fact a Brontosaurus and Apatosaurus was the same thing. This happens also when you're discussing Australopithecine remains. So, um, the, uh, with the evolution, according to evolutionary views, um, Australopithecines first appear in contexts earlier than non-modern humans. Uh, kind of in the evolutionary, I'm just going to give you evolution 101. It starts out with uh, the Australopithecines, then it moves to non-modern uh, humans like Homo ergaster or erectus or uh, Neanderthalans. And then finally uh, you have the uh, development of modern humans, uh, people that look basically like you and me, uh, or what are called Homo sapiens sapiens. Um, the issue is, is that Australopithecine, the end point of these dates, overlap with non-modern humans, specifically the earlier range, or allegedly the earlier range of Homo habilis, Homo rudolfensis, and ergaster. And there's, uh, and for you uh, surprising uh, uh, anthropologists, obviously you know there's a little raging debate, is it Homo ergaster or Homo erectus, and it goes back and forth. Um, Australopithecines are not seen as ancestral uh, to, to uh, humans because you have non-modern humans existing at the same time. So what they say is because uh, you have uh, Paranthropus boisier, and we're going to talk about these, existing at the same time, and Australopithecus uh, afarensis existing at the same time as your early uh, humans, early non-modern humans, therefore the evolutionary ancestor must be before these two because obviously you can't have both existing at the same time. So they look farther and farther back in, in, the, uh, in the fossil record. Um, and so their conclusion is that the ancestor of, of, of Australopithecines in humans evolved earlier. However, then the evolutionist is quick to say, hey, wait a second though, I mean, there is a, just a plethora of different types of Australopithecines from the, the gracile groups, um, which are another word for smaller groups, to the robust groups, which are, are, are larger Australopithecines. Next slide, please. Now, here we go in terms of the alleged date ranges. I don't believe that the, these are the, the, the case uh, in terms of these, but these are based on radioisotope dating, and we're going to get into the problems of that in another lecture. But just taking evolutionary arguments at face value, the ranges for uh, Australopithecines, and you, here you see uh, Canianthropus plagueops, and then you have Paranthropus, uh, three species of Paranthropus. Uh, in graduate school, these were also known as Australopithecines. So is Australopithecus robustus, and now it's referred to as uh, Paranthropus. Um, they have uh, uh, date ranges or lead date ranges anywhere from 4.2 to 1 point or to 1 million uh, years ago. Next slide, please. Now, the creationist views when I was going to graduate school were rather perplexing, for lack of a better word. Uh, some of the creationists were saying, well, these are really, actually, these are not bones at all. These are just hoaxes. 